We can't forget about what we're doing. We don't know what happens in the end. But I do know one thing. I'll keep on learning and loving, learning and loving with you. And you and you. Hi, everybody. I just thought I would do a little quick cute update on the protest and all that shenanigan fun stuff yesterday. I have a sweet special guest with me today, Layla, the amazing Layla. Hi, Layla. Hi everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited that you're on because I've always wanted you on the moment I met you. I was like, okay, she's so sweet. <laughs> she's so great. Uh, yes. When are we going to be on a live stream? And yeah. you're like, I, I didn't even start it yet. So I know. I know. Everybody. I know. Hi, everybody. I love that. Hi, everybody. Yay. A girl all says, hey, Layla. Hi. Hi, girl. She's always in my life, too. Yep. She's yeah. awesome. Uh, thank you guys all for being here. We see you, Judy. Judy Davis. Hello, John Shavorsky. I got some gifts from John Shavorsky. Why don't we just share some of them? Actually, I, uh, I've been using this, John. Excuse me. <laughs> Anybody <laughs> need some happiness? <laughs> and he also sent me, he loves sending fun little things. Maybe he's going to send you something soon. Mm. We no, got some cute. fun, you know, fun feeling a little mermaidy. <laughs> cute. Uh, what else, John? What other little sweet gifts? You know, everybody's got to have a ducky. A ducky. A ducky. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not quite sure. I guess this is an instrument. Mm. Can't hear it. You can't? No. Oh, now we can. Weird, right? Can you hear me on this? Okay. Yeah. Okay. All good. good. Okay. And what else? Uh, I, apparently, I need a little mirror so I can, you know. Such little trinkets. Yes. <laughs> And everybody needs their little alien BTs. I've got a few of these now. These are great. Look at these fun little alien, the little hands. I don't know. They're just so fun. Those are cute. So there you go, John. I, and there's a few more little things. I love them all. This is very cute. It's always nice to receive gifts from John. Um, he's very fun. He brings all kinds of gifts to the table. You've seen my Lara doll, huh? Whoa, what the? That's cool. Oh. Is Lone Dinosaur in the chat? That <laughs> yeah, is so cute. Isn't that fun? Yes. And it's, and she's actually wearing a onesie. I was going to actually wear a onesie. My I'm going to wear a black onesie. Uh, later, I'll be helping Tori. Mm -hmm. So that'll be fun. Anyways, okay, enough of all this. And then, of course, you know, <laughs> you know about the goldenrod. You know, goldenrod. <laughs> oh, is that the one you were talking to me about? <laughs> <laughs> this is golden, this awesome. is Rodney. His that name is, is awesome. Golden Rodney. And he is the number one. He was the first one made, just so everybody knows. So they can stop swinging like they <laughs> they need it. Oh my goodness. Okay, guys. Yay! So I love Layla. I love Layla so much. Not only do I just love her because you're amazing and you're fun and your energy is uh -huh. great and you're uh -huh. an amazing freaking mom. You have a beautiful baby Thank and you. you're just so strong and fun and like you. living your best <laughs> life no matter. I love that. Mm -hmm. um, but you also take photographs and you're there protesting, like out with us protesting. Yes. And it's just so cute. I just love it so much. And I love being there. I love everybody there, the environment. Everybody is so friendly. It's just, anybody is welcome. Everybody yeah. is everybody. Yeah, I feel like there's no reason for people not to, especially yeah. when, if you're in here and you're helping and you're here protesting, you get mm -hmm. this like um, adrenaline and like passion to be like, oh my God, this is so fun. It's easy to yeah. protest. Um, there's so many pe people there doing protesting their own ways. Mm -hmm. um, there was some comment about uh, how yelling at the people and da -da -da is not doing anything. I'm not mm -hmm. even going to bring up who said that. 
I'm sure <laughs> most of you in the chat do. Um, but the thing is, is like, actually, that's 100% wrong. There's so much going on. There's so much awareness happening. Even the LAPD are mm -hmm. opening their eyes to this stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, and not only that, there's people coming that were ex Sea Org members or were in Scientology for so long, or right. uh, hey, I had, you know, I was living with these Scientologists and I realized like they've been, you know, my whole apartment is full of mold and they've been blaming it on me. And da da da. I realized, oh my God, this is a Scientology apartment. Mm -hmm. So everything starts to kind of make sense a bit, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so. There's so many ways to protest. So yesterday, I just thought it was so freaking awesome that we all came together and uh, had like a barbecue slash protest slash. Yeah. It was so fun. It was honestly yeah. the best Easter I had. <laughs> yeah, I have I was saying that. I'm like, I mean, I, I've not had many Easter's, but yeah. I was like, this is this was the f most exciting and fun Easter where I actually felt like, what a nice Easter. Right, right. And it's so eventful, like we're yeah. out there doing so much you know my favorite part of yesterday was when when it was over and all you do you think those people with the masks were scientologists putting all the tarps down and stuff yeah all of them there's no way that they would have security they had security guards mm -hmm. odo and william mm -hmm. uh breaking down and some other security guard i forget his name um, breaking down the event they had that is never I've never seen that where security is taking down the event because there's protesters outside mm. and the, you know what I mean like they yeah. normally have a whole event crew so right. yeah they had a few people that could be trusted or whatever that was mm -hmm. out there probably some for part of the mm -hmm. event crew but most of the people like my father for example would be one of the people that would be breaking this event down just mm -hmm. like he did when I caught him on the shrine auditorium protest where I could see that he was taking out the dishes and mm -hmm. they unpack and undo the event. But if obviously they have somebody's daughter yelling for them outside, yeah, they don't want any kind of that connection getting to a family member that is trying to get their, 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 their dad out. It's crazy how they were all out there to, doing it so fastly because we were just screaming at them with our megaphones the whole time i was like here is the sptv number 727 <laughs> like it was so surreal how they were just like trying to hurry up and like it, wasn't it it wasn't not just me i was like guys is this a normal event on setup it was broke it they broke that stuff down so fast yeah yeah like I know the Sea Org does stuff that where they're like, go A to B, quick, mm -hmm. da, 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 however. But like, they were like, oh my God, hurry, get this done as fast yes. as we can. Yes, it was kind of surreal. It was like, wow, they're out here in front of us having to confront us and hear us and see us. I was just thinking like, I wonder what they were thinking themselves. I, me too. I was wondering, I wonder if any of this has changed Odo's mind a bit or uh -huh. William like you guys are walking a very thin line of like like really knowing you know knowing the obvious mm -hmm. my cat has Aww. a string a string on her foot um where there's like like they're like they could be leaving like I'm literally like Odo I was just in the same mind frame as you like mm -hmm. I even stated something I was like they're all married and that's keeping them in. And I'm like, look at you guys. You're like barely comfortable with your wives. Is that going to keep you in the Sea Org? I kept saying like, really, Odo, the next billion years, you're going to do this again. You're mm -hmm. going to do this again. Mm -hmm. And this, I couldn't believe he's like a, a foot away from me, two feet away from me, like trying to get his work done. And I'm just like, Odo, like yeah. he had a knife and he was like cutting, you know, the zip ties. And I was like, dang, that's a good knife, Odo. I bet you'd be a real good fisher. Uh -huh. you know, you go that fish like I, yeah. I was just trying to give him like, ideas give him ideas like you know he's enjoying this knife cool knife he has Ooh, mm -hmm. like cool Odo why don't you go do something outside the sea org with that knife right, <laughs> I was right. Just trying to be like and it was really nice to be able to just plant things like that like uh -huh. to them being like are you really just going to be satisfied or do you feel like you your your wife and you can't come out the SBTV foundation has a whole like group of people who would love to help you and your wife get out. They would love to see, I kept saying that I was like, they would yeah. love to see you in your own place, having your own life, you know, enjoying. 
<laughs> yeah, it's just a lot. And it's because it's so it's a lot in one setting because, you know, whenever it's like a regular day and we go by the blue building, they just hide right away. Right. Yeah. They see us, they're gone. They're gone. And, and, and when Tori was OG, I mean, she still is OG. But when she yeah. was protesting and stuff with anonymous and stuff, uh -huh. and the security guards and everybody would attack them. They would come out and attack them and try to mm -hmm. instill fear in them and make them feel scared that, you know, they were going to get attacked. Right. So this is a whole different level. This is a whole different tactic. Yeah, because I saw Tori literally just having like full on conversations with one of the security guards too. Like I was watching her and I took a picture of her also doing that too. And she was- Ooh, let's see if I can find that. Wow. They were let's just see. listening. Cool listening. They were just, it was when she, it's like she was at the white wall. Right. I remember that too. Yeah. Hold on. I, think I hope I, I'm not moving my whole screen. For I you sent guys. you every picture, I hope. I think I did. I think there was definitely this one where I, I there's this one. Let's open it up where she's talking to, it looks like William, I believe. And Zach, Zach is in the chat. I think I saw him. Hi, Zach. You were so sweet protecting between Zach <laughs> and uh, um, who was the other? Uh, Jessica, <laughs> Paul Manessa, everybody being like, like, take care of Tori. What is Tori okay? Uh -huh. like, I just oh, no. love that so much. Okay, let's see if I can share this one. Uh, present. I, I did send you it. The one I'm talking about, I sent it. Yeah, I think it's this one. Well, here's one. Uh -huh. Can you guys see that? Yes, this one, this one, this one. Okay, I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. And so Layla's here with her amazing camera, just taking real actual photos. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> which I freaking love because everybody's all digital these days. And I just love I that there's a real camera there. But anyway, so here is William, the security guard. And here's Tori just, mm -hmm. you know, holding on to this pole, like talking to him. And he ended up, what, putting a trash can or something in yeah. front of her? <laughs> yeah. I think there's another photo of that. Here's Zach just keeping an eye on on the OG there. <laughs> yeah. Um, let me see. I want to see. I'm going to pull up some other photos you took because I just love these photos. Yeah. Freaking awesome. And I'll have to do it in some way. Give me a sec, guys, where I can not repeat the photos. Here, I'm going to open here. I'll open up with a few. There we go. Okay, here's another one. I think this ha this was right after that. And mm -hmm. everybody was like protecting <laughs> Tori. And <laughs> oh, whoops, do not invite, present. Uh, Foxy, can you take your squeaky toy somewhere else? I, I'm hear, I was about to say, is that Foxy in the back? He's like, oh, yeah, does everybody hear me? <laughs> Okay, so this is one with Tori and Jessica. We're like, are you okay? And there's Nerd Report. Yeah. Uh, and uh, here. And here's Nerd Report. Here's Tori being like, well, you know, I just wanted to have a conversation with him. Jess is here and uh, Danny and Leah. And I think this is... Uh, Somebody with glasses. Is oh, yeah. This was the chick. Uh, frick, what's her name? Is that Chi Chi? I Chi -Chi think so. Kana? Chichi Kana. Okay. And then we got uh, Solomon here. So they all, it was really sweet. They were all definitely checking out, checking, checking on Tori, making sure she was good. Were they um, touching her at all? Because I remember I heard DOA say, don't touch her. Don't yeah. Touch her. They, William moved her, William. And it's like oh. the security guard should know better than that. Do not. But I think that Tori has this really amazing sort of um, natural, nice, you know, appeal. They think, oh, well, Tori's not going to do anything. Well, <laughs> then we'll, we'll kind of move her. I don't know. I don't know. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Let's show, I'm going to show all, I'm going to show a few photos. I want the whole, I want the chat to see. So yeah, uh, here's another one, guys. I love this one. So awesome. We got these supporter babes that were out here. So cool. We got DOA <laughs> in his apron <laughs> in his apron and half bunny suit with the, and this is when he was like, let her go. He yeah. Was like yeah. definitely telling everybody. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was after like, there you go. There's Jessica and Tori was yeah. coming over and everybody was like, are you okay? What happened? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I just love these photos. You just nailed them. These photos are great. Okay. Hold on. I'm going to, I'm going to pull some more up guys. Uh, let's see. I'm going to just open up all these so they're easier to. Okay. Uh, here. This is so funny. 
windows. Okay, so we got this one. I love this one. Oops, I didn't share it. That's funny. <laughs> I do too. <laughs> the letters and are just so bold. Exactly. I just love it, Bugzino. And then under that one, he said, the, under this shirt, he was wearing another shirt that Scientology said, Scientology sucks. Yeah, Scientology sucks. I, mean, I just yeah. was like, straight to the point. This is great. <laughs> yeah. I really liked it. I like that Fuxino uh, shirt a lot. I like that a lot. I kind of, you know, when I first read it, I was like, "Fuck Zeno, does that mean you're? <laughs> are you like not against Scientology?" It was like a confusing <laughs> thing. And then I was like, "No, and no solid Scientologist is gonna wear a Fuck Zeno shirt." <laughs> <laughs> um, um, okay, let me show some other ones. That, I saw I just somebody love say in the chat, "Where does Layla post all her photos?" So I have an Instagram and a TikTok. I'm starting to post mainly on Instagram. Uh, I'll comment my user in the comments. Yeah. Oh, and this picture was, a, she, it was a little girl, actually. She came, I met her parents. And so, like, she was like seven. Some cute little girl. She was so sweet and quiet. And I was like, could I take a picture? And she was like, yeah. <laughs> and she held it that up. That is so <laughs> cute. I remember her and she yeah. was around and she was having so much fun and she was so excited to meet some of the people, the protesters that were yeah. there. That's so cool. It's una secta. <laughs> so oh cute. man. Uh, okay. Here's another one, guys. I'm going to pop them all up. Pop them all up. Share. Okay. Yeah. This is like a back view. I think Tori was over here still. Yep. See? Yep. Yeah. Still so talking. Tori's all here and look at this crowd of protectors. I just love this. <laughs> Everybody being like, what's what going on that? here? Like even this person's like, uh, is everything cool over there? What's going on? <laughs> they're all like, um, and then they're all kind of like, look at Tori OG going in strong. I know she's so brave. I know <laughs> she's so brave. Right. I mean, also the thing about the losing, when you lose the fear, you're kind of like anything you do, police mm -hmm. officers is on you. Anything you do, Osa is on you. Um, so there was this guy, this guy's a plant. He's always out there trying to calm down the protesters and trying to distract us or have a conversation. Yep. And Tori's known this guy forever. So that was interesting. And we both were, she was like, you're a plant. She just kept <laughs> saying that to him. You're a plant. Oh. And then I was going like, yeah, yeah. See, I was, it was just funny. I'm like, yeah, you think you're going to distract us? No, we literally walked. What was he even me. trying to conversate about? He was just like, Lara, he's trying to pretend that he has a nice composure and, and like, Hey, mm -hmm. have a little talk. And well, you know, he just tries to calm down the protesters or divert them from being focused on what we're doing there. Uh, I see. Um, he's been at multiple, uh, protest, yeah. protest things where I'm just like this guy, man, I just can't <laughs> understand somebody's mentality Did of staying like a Sea Org member. Uh, just a higher up Scientologist. No, just a dedicated Scientologist. He's donated money and all that. Mm -hmm. he, he had a pin on, I think, the last time I saw him. Mm -hmm. Uh like an IAS pin where he that means he's donated or he's, you know. Yeah. He definitely has had his own sessions in wow. in his lifetime. So okay, he's like here's a some... public Scientologist in a way. Oh yeah, for sure. And then when you become a I guess a hardcore Scientologist, you start doing things for OSA. Mm. like you start showing and that's what like tori was doing she was working <laughs> for osa for a while as well yeah bubs you better not ruin everything around me <laughs> they always want to come and join me and i'm like well yeah they're so the small how old are they they're like three and a half now they're, they're so they're, yeah. still. They're maybe still. three three years old wow. Dang. okay there's a cute speaking of cute there, there's selfless, selfless self with your cute little paparoo. Yeah. He loves oh selfless God. self, actually. Oh, <laughs> of course. Oh, there's another. Uh, oh, where's that other one? There was another cute one. Hold on. This one, yes. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I love your photos. They're so awesome. And we're just showing the ones that you took from Easter. Their yeah, selfless self. This and he was drumming at this yeah, time. Yeah, he was taking out the music. I also captured you guys. I try to capture DOA when you were singing and wait, DOA dancing, you singing, and him playing the. I think I have that. Hold on. Let's yeah. see. 
Oh, let me see here. Uno momento. Uh, was it this one? I think so. Maybe not. I don't know. DOA seems like he's dancing, but I, or he, he, I don't know. Let's see. That was so fun, guys. I, ke I kept looking and watching all the bunnies dancing and because <laughs> Jen was wearing a bunny outfit. It's just so cute. There's, yeah, there's this, was, this was the moment, yeah. Right? Yeah. I just love this. And and uh, Selfless Self is doing an amazing job on this crazy little like, ding, do, woo, 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 woo. Uh -huh. like, oh, my God, he nailed it. And I he did little it. drums to it. It's so beautiful just how, like, music and – I, I just love that mo that moment. It was so nice. Yeah, I loved it. I loved it. It felt so good. It felt. Mm -hmm. It also felt like so appropriate because the yeah. music and everything that I write is all was all about this type of shit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, let's see. I wanna I wanna make sure I don't miss any because these are really great. I like this one. This one did I show? Yeah, I showed that one. Okay. Um, I think that we should, I feel like whenever, oh, I love this one. This one is, this one's a good one. Just the <laughs> keep it real, real clear. Mm -hmm. Keep it real clear. I like that one. Uh, Jen was, cool. was walking around with this. Mm -hmm. I took a picture of her with that too, holding it up like that at the end. Okay, let me find them. So this, how, what was this your like third? What, how many protests do you feel like you've been to now? Oh my gosh, um, more than like ten. <laughs> because really? There was a time where I was just kind of like on a streak. It's weird because I like go on a streak of going like night, 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 and then I just stop for a little bit, and then I get back on it again. But definitely, a. Uh, uh, I could say since the information center started popping up, I've been going out since then. Wow. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, I, I met you at the information. They Everybody calls it the information. I call it the testing center. Testing I don't know why. I think in the in Scientology, we'd call that the testing center. But uh -huh. in the outside world, it seems more of like an information, information center, center. <laughs> which it's not. Yeah. I see. Information for BS. Yep. Yep. Okay, I'm going to bring uh, two more up. I like these ones. I like them all. I'm bringing all of them up. I don't care. I'm just going to start sharing. If you're not available for the next protest, any photos you take, I'm just going to be like, oh, yeah. we're doing a recap of Layla's photos. Yeah. Nice. I'd love that. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Um, this is awesome. I love stuff like this. I love stuff like this. Signs like this that just kind of connect the outside world's reality and Scientology's actual yeah. reality. Yeah. Smile, you're now entering Scientology surveillance zone. And there were some random people who that we didn't even know who I saw come up and get food. So yeah. They were they were reading every sign too. So yeah, I was giving out food to homeless people. I just I was giving out food to people who were went into um like were going into the mm -hmm. Faith Scientology Easter event. Mm -hmm. And then when they when we were telling them, like, es una secta, yeah. she came, the grandmother came, like, oh my God, came around uh, and was like kind of walking away. I said, thank you for listening. You know, we, I don't want your family to get drawn into this. And she said, okay, no, thank you. So sweet. Mm -hmm. And I said, and I felt like I was thinking like, oh, maybe, you know, a lot of people go to these events to get food and yeah. to hang out and have that mm -hmm. environment. And so I just immediately was like, do you want a hot dog or food? Right. I saw food? that. I saw that. And so it just felt so, and she was like, oh, sure. And then, so after that, I was like, anybody, you guys want a hot dog? Like the sharing and the loving and everything is the thing that is so important. That is what this is all about. Like exactly. we weren't able to have these emotions, have these things. This is a dope one. I love this one. I love taking photos of you. You're just like so photogenic. <laughs> <laughs> and you're That's always sweet. like doing something that I could capture a moment of, you know? you're like she's shaking her butt or doing something funny take a picture take a picture quick we might not have this one again yep um oh yeah here's some other ones i can pull this up there was i do i was doing that to tao too uh -huh. there was times like oh god i should have had that on camera and i'm like tao this one's for you <laughs> this is like me shaking my booty um 
So funny. Oh, uh, this is the big poster that we my my printer person did for uh, Scotty and Scotty or uh, they had somebody. I think I forget who it is. Pocket. Somebody made this freaking mm -hmm. awesome sign, put it, put all of it together. And then my printer printed it. So it's just amazing that when people read it, it's like, you really get to the point. It's, mm -hmm. it's straight up. This is what we're doing. This is the intention. Um, yeah. Oh, here's another cute one. <laughs> <laughs> like, the dog's like, I'm not sure about this. Is this a real bunny? Is this the, is this a fur animal? He was so curious yesterday. He's never been in a big environment like that, and so it was pretty fun for him. He loved it. And he had and he, and he had the jacket. Mm -hmm. those, it was yellow. Looking, it's yellow and black. So yellow it's so cute. Oh my goodness, so cute. Yeah, I felt so good. How did you feel about being there with all the cops there and all that? Um, like, did you feel worried at any time? I did because, you know, at the beginning, when I first got there, I was at the front by myself using the megaphone. And so the cops were there at the front too. And I just showed up like, as I got there 10 minutes into it and they right away, they were like, you can't use the megaphones. Nope. You can't use it. And I was kind of hesitant. I was like, is this really a lawful? <laughs> yeah thing right now or is it not so i just i kept it quiet and then i went to the other side and then everybody else was using the megaphone i was like what i don't know i just i just know they're gonna try to do stuff to us they're just gonna right mm -hmm. right and in, in and in that case they literally he was telling us it's so great learning from people who have protested and done things so like i immediately heard doa saying uh something like are you asking me to stop using my megaphone or are you ordering me with a lawful order? Yes. Yes. And, and, and if, the, if that's a lawful order, then it goes on to the police officer saying I had to order this lawful mm -hmm. for this thing to lawfully, like he can't just, he can ask to be quiet. He, he can ask us to be quiet, which mm -hmm. he then tried to do multiple times yeah. <laughs> and even tried to escalate it by saying, this is the third warning. This is the third time I told you. And he's talking to me and I'm going, and I just turned around at one point. I think I was just like, you be quiet. This is the fourth time I'm telling you. Yeah. Yeah. So amazing. And then to see him just, the cop just walk away, like I blah, blah, blah. And then walk away. It's like, well, shut up. Exactly. They, like, they, what kind of immature authority do you think you have? They weren't serious about it because now that you right. mentioned that DOA was saying that to the police officer, I remember watching it live before I got there. He was saying that to the police officer. And when he said, um, like, ask me, order me to do it, order me to do it. And he would just not say anything. So it's like, we didn't need to, but at the That's same time, uh-huh. And he kept doing, I would also catch him doing things. And even Audra came up to me and uh -huh. was like, Hey, I just want to make sure, you know, uh, he kept going up to the other, you know, Asian cop and some other chick mm -hmm. and being like, like, like whispering in their, as if they're like getting prepared to arrest me. And I was mm -hmm. like, Nope. I just kept ignoring them. Mm -hmm. I'm not even going to look at your fake authority. I have yeah. dealt with this my whole life. I am mm -hmm. not even going to respond. And mm -hmm. then if you're going to come up to me and demand, this is the third time, I'm going to turn around and say, shut the fuck up. You yeah. literally are using your authority in a uniform to tell me something that I pretend that I'm doing something unlawful. Mm -hmm. That's messed up. Mm -hmm. I know. What is the, even the police officer at that point would then arrest somebody for no reason, right? And cause all this, this shit. And it's just mm -hmm. like, how dare, like, even a normal human being have a conversation with me is if they're, if you're going to lie to me and be disrespectful to me, I'm going to call you out on it. Right. It's the same fucking shit. Yeah. With and they were even, man. they were trying to tell us to not block the road, even though nobody can enter the road. So there's no point of having to stay on the sides of the sidewalk because it's blocked off. Nobody's there. Like, mm -hmm. they were just, making up stuff and making up stuff, and making up stuff. And it's at a certain point, it's like, you know, cops are legally allowed to lie. Mm -hmm. How is that even possible? Like, no, it's so just 
inhumane. Just this whole time of becoming like a protester with all this and also learning from streets and stuff, it's just like, I can't look at LAPD the same at all anymore. Or right? any cop anymore. Like, I, you know, not all cops are bad, but it's like, the way that LAPD is acting has changed my mindset so much that they're doing something wrong, very wrong. Mm-hmm. And they have, they definitely have bought their money, their, their fine, their reason for being there is deeper than just being a cop that was hired for this event. Why do they need eight police officers and a supervisor to be at a Scientology Easter event? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Answer that fucking question. What what church needs eight security and a freaking supervisor to be on overtime pay? I don't know if you got sent this picture, but I took this picture too. Literally, I don't know. I think that's a sergeant or something right next to the security Scientologist. Just like, yep, protecting them like nothing. Yeah, let me just, pull that up. It was just so insane. I it, uh, Right, being and then catching them at times when the cops would later on in the evening the cops oh here's I'll share this one. <laughs> and this was another one. Oh yeah, you could really see you guys are I in think, the moment there. Yeah, we got the bunnies like dancing, DOA's dancing, playing the music. I see we got selfless self Rocking it out on his tooth. We got Jess enjoying. We got David mismanage, McManage. Uh, mismanage, I think, is his channel. We got <laughs> Solomon. We got freaking uh, Comet and Chris. We got a uh, uh, nerd, nerd report. report. And <laughs> I was just Aja. <laughs> yeah, I just love it. And we're and literally me, having a camera. great time. Yes. <laughs> it's so fun. I just yeah. love this. Yeah. How dare. I mean, I'm like, how who's who's the you know OG who's the genius of protesting in 2014 that's gonna mm-hmm. tell us what we're doing is is wrong? Mm-hmm. I'm like, y'all need to wake up. This is also very cute. I must share. <laughs> Dwayne just his bunny outfit. Yeah. I love the bunny outfit. I love it. I was trying not to hug him too much. I didn't want the whole world to think I was obsessed with Dio. I asked him, I was like, are you hot in there? And he was like, I'm dying. And yeah. Like, I asked him too. I was like, oh, you look comfortable. He's like, it's just, I'm, I'm dying. It's burning I know. hot. <laughs> oh, here's another great one. There's Danny and these other people that were supporting. Is it showing or am I not? Yeah, we can see. Yeah, yeah. Okay, good. I'm like, am I just talking about nothing? Uh, and then we had our whole setup here with a barbecue and anybody would walk by here. We would catch them from going into the event, walking in. Uh, so that was fun and interesting. It just felt so good, guys. It was so good. I'm so yeah. proud of us. The whole fucking thing was good. It was supposed to rain that day and I'm so glad it was sunny. I, it was, so it was literally the best day. I felt like, wow, what a difference. I'm, and maybe it was because we felt like we had to... Um, be prepared for the rain and possibly getting arrested and all kinds of dumb stuff. So when it worked out, oops, when it worked out, it's just perfect. It was just a a day to remember always. Every day that is a protest, it's a day to remember always. Yes. Everybody there and and at literally all the um all of the protesters mm-hmm. have their own I can't I can't state this enough. Every <laughs> protester when I see them I get mm-hmm. joy. I'm like, "Oh, every protester I have a strong different emotion about." And I just I love it. I love the new people that aren't even protesting that just showed up to be around with us so that they can add more people to mm-hmm. to the thing. And it's so funny, the moment they like we're being rude to Tori and they like moved a trash can to put the trash can and the wall, their freaking wall fell down or something. Yeah. And everybody, <laughs> whether you were protesting or not, and you were just hanging out, everybody was like, it's a cult. It's a cult. Oh it's my God. Cult. That was phenomenal. That was freaking. When freaking Michael, awesome. when Michael went there and they touched him and they were like, don't touch him. Everybody, I just love that love. I love that protection so much. Yeah. Like, this is something we never got. We always had to protect ourselves. And it's and not this- o- uh huh. It's not only only the protesters, it's also the chat. Like, chat 
Chat is awesome. They're like our, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but they're freaking awesome. Chat is like I, a part of this too with us. <laughs> Speaking of chat, you guys, you guys pump us up like crazy. Like oh, yeah. I sometimes I'm like going through something <laughs> and, or I'll be like, you know, even singing or doing something. Mm -hmm. And I like kind of like not sure what I'm feeling or what the emotion is, you know, yeah. and I kind of look at, over at my chat like, hey, you guys see that? And I'm like, ah. Like I'll yeah, laugh. Exactly. Or don't say ah, I just can't. Or yeah. I'll say something funny like no mames or something, and some of one of my sweet Latino people will be like, I love that when I just like okay, <laughs> okay, good. I love when people make being yourself mm -hmm. so amazing and fun. Mm -hmm. I feel like a lot of the world is missing that. Even a mm -hmm. good person is afraid to fully be themselves sometimes, and that is so lame. Mm -hmm. That is so lame that we're all pretending in this life and not just being like, this is the person I am. And if you don't like it, if you don't like me, if I'm too much, you literally can go find a thousand million other people in the world <laughs> that you can go hang out with and be with. You don't yeah. have to sit there and criticize somebody right. because you're right. not living your own life. Right. Right. Anyway, Everybody is so. their own person. And that's what Scientology needs to freaking know too. I kept saying when I was by myself in the front, I kept saying on my megaphone, like, you guys are human. You guys have human rights. Like, uh, uh, wake up, wake up. Just freaking wake the hell up. Huh. <laughs> yep. <laughs> was trying to cough. Was trying to mute my. Uh oh. <laughs> four, my 420 cough. <laughs> it's not the Rona. It's just 420. I have this right now. Have you tried this? Oh, I love those things. And those things, it's it's tea. Yes, I and love so it tea. does have caffeine. It does. It does because it has uh, tea has caffeine. Ah, some well. teas, most teas, like I mean chamomile and stuff don't. Mm -hmm. But like your basic tea, black tea, or Earl, whatever you get it. Like, oh, can I get a white peach or whatever? That uh -huh. all, that all has caffeine. I just know it because I had to. I was wondering, like, why am I shaking? And I started really? feeling, and I hadn't smoked any weed or anything. You know, beginning of the day, I was just kind of like. What is this? And I was like, oh my God, I'm sipping on tea and the tea has caffeine. I'm sipping on like the morning tea. <laughs> and I, I didn't realize that uh, hibiscus, there was hibiscus tea. And I, I was like, I thought that that had no caffeine. There was wow. something that was mixed with something and it had caffeine. So Are you like I'm sensitive very sensitive. Caffeine? Yeah, I'm very sensitive. But if I eat like a full meal and then um, I have like a Coca Cola yeah. or if I eat a burger and I sometimes will have a Coca Cola or something. Yeah. Um, I, which I love. I can still feel the caffeine, but it's not as, it's almost like the food absorbs it a bit. Yeah. Same yeah. with like beer, right? Or is that like a conspiracy? Like before you drink alcohol, eat something or eat something? Oh, a hundred percent. No, you, if you, if you do not eat something, you get drunk fucking way faster and it's actually sloppy and annoying. That's the thing. The ice, the tea, if I eat something, and then have a sip or two of it or whatever while I'm eating. It kind of does this nice clean. Oh, my God. That's so dope. Your mom said to show your purse. So I showed my purse. <laughs> a Scientologist has complimented my purse, actually. Sebastian, I remember oh that. Oh, my <laughs> God. That is a badass purse. Thank that you. is badass. That is so badass. Thank Layla, you. you're so badass. You Fluffer Squirrel bad. UK. Thank you so much for your sweet chat. And look at the, look at their little, isn't their little the, icon? <laughs> I just so love cute. looking because sometimes they change them and it's so cute. Uh -huh. I just love that. Flying mom, Laura. I think the foundation needs a catchy jingle with the number and a way to help. Yes. Numbers with music makes it easier. Hold on. Let me grab Ooh. this. That's a good idea. Let's see. That's a great idea, Flying Mom. Well, we could do something with that, right? Needing help, need help leaving. Sign need help leaving. Scientology is a cult. Seven two seven two. Yeah, we need to do something. Seven two seven two six six fifty seven ninety seven fifty seven ninety seven. Whoa, I'm already doing it, right? 727-266-5797-727. Yeah, that could get catchy. Yeah. 
five seven nine seven seven two seven two six six fifty seven ninety seven okay all right good job flying mom good job for distracting the chat just kidding thank you for your super chat you cutie pies i guess deleting the comment takes it out of the chat too i shouldn't do that then hi robert sweet angel babe robert and i i went to palm springs <laughs> Hi, Robert. You like knock down everything. Um, you need to move the water bottle behind you and put your cute bat purse back in. You think so? okay. Yeah, I think that would be great. Yeah, it'll be my yeah. my background decor. Yeah, let them uh, let them sponsor you for more. Um, yeah, and my purses. Cards Against Humanity game. Yes, that's yeah. great. You that should just sit right up on my the top background now above the yeah. <laughs> You're like, it took me a long time to set, <laughs> set up my background. Yes, it's beautiful, though. Mine mine did take me, it took me multiple times. And most of my things, it kind of looks like this, but I just figured it out. You know what I do? I just, you came here. Guys, yeah. I let Layla come to my apartment. Um, and it was so cute because I love Layla so much that my natural energy would let her do that. I'm like, <laughs> nope, you may come. So Tori, OG Tori and Layla came to my apartment to pee during the protest because I'm sure, you know, I just can guarantee Scientology is not going to let us borrow their bathroom. I know. They're going to keep our pee and test it and get our DNA. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I do I think that sometimes place. when I throw things away. But yeah, I just put up, I just put up um, like a little, almost a divider. And then I just put the, sh the, 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 these cloth things over it. And it's I just noticed. like a light and a light. It's really uh -huh. sweet. I I'm going to help Tori maybe do that today. We'll see. You oh. have a like painted green. Did they? Did your manager? I did that. Did they allow that? Um, it. I would just have to paint it back to white when oh, I'm done. Oh, nice. Yeah. Mm. Which I know how. I mean, I. Yeah. When I moved in here, I redid. I repainted. I did everything white. Really? Because, yeah, okay. I patched everything because I just also was like, I want it my way because I didn't even know how I wanted things. Uh -huh. I was just, I took it over from a friend. So, mm -hmm. anywho, um, so yeah. What was I saying? Oh, your beautiful background. Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> My background. I love who. Oh, yes. Yeah. So, Robert, we went. That's what I was saying. Oh, I yeah. was in Palm, Palm Springs, Springs the other day. Yeah. And uh, he we after my rent, I was like doing a bunch of little things and loading up my van. We went and met. He met up with me there in Palm Springs and we went to uh, a tiki bar and had an amazing time. And I love tiki bars. I love just sitting in a tiki bar, chatting with a friend and like looking at things. And uh, it was so fun, Robert. You are so fun. We are, we could talk forever. It was really good. And I needed that. That was such a random little break going to Palm Springs being on the live with you guys in the chat and everything. It was so fun. Was I it just was to go visit Robert? No, no, no. Or was it a trip? Robert? No, no, no. I went to Palm Springs to, I was going to go to Arizona and I ended oh. up only having to pick up everything from Palm Springs, which was mm. so amazing. So thank you to my sweet angel babe who helped me do that. Um, so I went to Palm Springs to pick up all the camping and burning. It's like my burning man gear and, mm -hmm. um, like camping things that I want and that I need yeah. for, even if I go on tour, I want this. Right, stuff. Right. So I'm like, uh, well, okay. I'm, I'm planning the whole tour and all that soon. Uh -huh. So, uh, which I'll let you guys know. I'll let you guys know when I'm booking and the, and the route that I'm taking so that you guys can figure out, you know blah 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 and the time so if you make it you make it or if you can help book a show that's great if not come to the one in your area or whatever um what was i saying uh, oh yeah so tiki bars robert oh yeah so i was loading all this shit in the van and it yeah. was just fun to be i was like oh my god i have like it reminded of me it reminded me of when i am on tour like when i go on tour in the van and everything how it would be like this where we're talking with the chat and we're all it's like I'm writing new songs with the chat. Like, it just feels so much different. I don't know. I always resented the internet, especially coming out of Scientology. I just felt like, oh, my God, like everybody's watching me. But then after a while, I realized, oh, like, I kind of like it. Like, I kind of got over the fear of always feeling like I'm being watched. Right. I was like, whatever. Who cares? 
Mm -hmm. Who cares? What am I so afraid of? And that also started because I was like, I just felt like I was finally like, I felt like Scientology already knew everything about me. I'm like, well, they would have already known everything about me, just like the outside world. Like, I'm like, how am I a bad person if other people are doing this and they make it look natural? Mm -hmm. You know, it was just so weird, like many different things. But long story short, it just reminded me the whole like going on tour, being open, um, being completely careless. Mm -hmm. Obviously, there's privacy things. You have privacy things. But I'm just saying like to to teach people to just do things without, with being fe- like, okay, things are scary, but to be more genuine and to be yourself is, is also like, it's a not an, a normal thing. Like it's hard for people to just feel how they feel or to release trauma that they've been holding on to forever. I don't know. Maybe I'm going down a whole long hole here. Anyways. Well, I, 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 I watch you. So I'm just like, hmm. I listen to you like a podcast, like whenever you live. So it's like, I'm, this. I'm like, okay. okay. So I just feel like, so going on, being in the van and going on tour, it just reminded me being like, oh, I want to do this. I want to have, I want to use the internet and the world in the way that I believe it is or that I'm starting to see it is instead of this fear that I've always had that Scientology made me feel about how scary or unreliable the world is or how alone I would be and how, how hard it was going to be for me. Right. Right. Uh, And then just being like, actually I love being on tour and being completely open and vulnerable to anybody and, and saying, if you're going to be a mean person, and even in my face, if you were going to tell me something, I'd be like, cool, think what you want. I'm out of here. Like, mm-hmm. that would just be the thing. So same thing in the real world. And it's just so interesting to to find the connection, even through protest, even through making a song. And somebody loves that song so much in their own way. Like, yeah. they, they're like, oh, I really, I didn't know anything about your Scientology stuff, but I was obsessed with your I love you or the haunted friend or whatever. Yeah. And so- It's just so cool that I'm like, wow, people are only judging somebody. This is where I'm getting to. Mm -hmm. People are only judging somebody for the view that they're seeing. Mm. And it's like when you're on live streaming and you're opening and I'm in the van and I'm showing like, okay, guys, hold on. I'm going to make my bed and just showing them like, and even watching DOA and his struggles, his little, the little struggles with his van and da, 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 da. It just feels more like this is like, the healthiest you can sort of be like, Mm -hmm. not the healthiest. It's just, it makes you feel like if you're going to deal with the trauma or situation, you're going to be real with yourself because also other people are watching you and Mm -hmm. it feels like you're done. It's so fucking exhausting being on a live stream, pretending to be somebody that you're not. Right. 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 (laughs) So if it's getting exhausting, you can kind of just be like, well then just relax and be yourself then. Yeah. Like fuck it. Fuck it. You know? If it's exhausting, then maybe it's not for you in some yeah. ways too. That's what I was getting to. So yeah, the van thing and do, being on tour and all this is so for me. And yeah. probably it would exhaust other people, but I love that. It reminded me going to Palm Springs and driving and doing all that. I'm like, I love doing this. So mm-hmm. back to that. We will make a <laughs> jingle. We will be making a jingle. <laughs> Where is it? 86 GOP again, you support. Thank you so much. You guys did a great job. Cult of Scientology and the LAPD has definitely made enemies of the wrong people. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I hate even using enemies. I'm just saying, like, well, how can people see this? And how is right? This- Why is this police officer's ego so va- like, like open and va- like? uh, vibrant or just Mm -hmm. like obvious Mm -hmm. like how come this officer has not been adjusted and or corrected in this way of being like dude you're you're not going to tell protesters to be quiet with this attitude yeah i mean it would it's literally it doesn't do the job that you're supposed to be doing it doesn't it doesn't protect it doesn't it doesn't do anything it creates more anger even from Mm -hmm. the protester and so it just feels like these police officers and their ego sometimes is like way too much, way too much where I'm like, I just want to point this out in you. I know. But when I- you see that, I, I have made some posts just about LAPD too, photos. And so it, it's like, what? why doesn't everybody know this? Why is this so normalized? I'm like, well, here's the thing. Did we know about this before we started doing this? 
No, I did not. That's why I'm like, holy crap. Like I, heard, I always heard police corruption, da, da, da. And there's many other protests and right. things that go on where you're like, you hear it. Right. But, but because of the way that we're, I personally am seeing it and I'm going, what the hell? Where I see Officer White and these people being at these town hall meetings and everything, every time we go to make a complaint or do something about Scientology, these certain people are showing up for the other side or the people mm -hmm. that we're trying to expose. Mm -hmm. It's just unbelievable. So it um, it's interesting. It's interesting. Like it's not just about Scientology. It's not just about the corruption of LAPD. It's saying, is our society okay with having, uh, you know, our authority, somebody who's supposed to be helping people be put in check. Are they okay with being manipulated with money and all these things and getting away with their own crimes? I know I'm always on my, you know, I have separate accounts for my personal. And I'm, I'm always on my personal, like you guys, how look at this. Like, please just look at these photos. I post read the caption. Like this is real. This is, this is real, but nobody, I'm at a loss for words. It's just hard to explain. Like, what? I don't yeah. know. I just wish everybody would see this. I wish everybody would see how they act. Yeah. Yeah. It, it Because then it makes you understand, like, tell us how to tell them who know what they're doing that's wrong. Tell us how to be nicer. Are you joking? There's no nice in this anymore. It's literally like, stop. It's like, wake up. Like, you have to stop doing what you're doing. And if you're aware of it, you have to know that we now are watching you and we're calling you out on it. So yeah. either stop doing it like, or you're going to be called out even louder. Right, right. Thank you, 86 GOP. Like all this just makes me also want to protest more. It's just like it just gives us more fire the way yeah. they act. Sure, for sure. That is that is 100% true. Love you guys so fun shouting truth at the public with you. Yes, Gigi Ghana, that was really awesome. She was so great. As usual. I <laughs> knew Gigi was the way she was. <laughs> that was really awesome. She was on it. Boom, boom. Everybody, oh my God, every, I can just keep remembering. I'm like, everybody was <laughs> on it. There was times people were just going and going. The DOA was out there for 14, 15 hours. Wow. Crazy, man. I think she she kind of was also um with her megaphone talking to the street talking to the cars mm -hmm. that were passing by about yes. what we're doing so like everybody was just in action yesterday it was so cool to see yeah i love that it was yeah it was really cool and then the additional bunny rabbits and fun things yeah yeah yeah, yeah. And crit confident chris with his ducky <laughs> It's just so funny. <laughs> uh, so fun. Uh, the comment, I thought it was really crazy and weird that the cops went into the Scientology parking lot, changed, and then left into their personal car. Some even waved and did peace signs. That's 100% correct, Angel. Um, yeah, it was really weird. Uh, also, what, why are they like, I get that people change, you know, change their shift in uniform. Don't they go change their clothes and all that at the police station or I mean, whatever. Right. Well, why would you, I guess, I don't know the rules. Maybe it's once you're off shift, you take off the uniform and I guess technically they were done with their shift. So they took off their uniforms in their car, let out their long hair and then waved as they were leaving. As we were like, are you guys, you're crazy. Like some of these, the chicks, one of the chicks waved at me. And that's, that's really fine. Thinking, though, Cause then they have like all their stuff on them too. A hundred percent. Like, so all of that was being secured, I guess, in the Scientology safe parking lot. Hmm. Wow. It's just so weird. I don't know. It was I, I don't I think I left when that happened. I didn't stay for that long, so I I didn't even see that. Yeah. Yeah, they were hired. Uh, they were hurt. they were definitely hired privately, I believe. Like, yeah, we, like I was gonna look this up. I wanted to look this up. I'm just trying to figure out how I would find out who like is there somebody in the chat that knows somebody or is somebody that you know, keeps track of police donation receipts. I don't know. <laughs> Chat must know. There must be one person. Somebody knows. <laughs> Somebody uh, has to know. 
they were not there as police they were there as security <laughs> yes yes but security of what the goats running out <laughs> did you know they actually had a petting I zoo saw them, yeah they i saw them unloading goats from the mm -hmm. i was just like what the heck Oh, and Tao also saw something. So the truck where they were getting loaded in, I think to go back to where they came from, the big speaker that they were playing their crappy music from, it was blasting right at them. Yeah. Loudly. Like, yeah. Isn't that like some That's why I started at one point I shouted out on the on the the horn, I shouted out back to the police. How are you telling us that we have a sound ordinance or we're too loud when they are blasting your I was on the mic, blasting their radio so loud that you can't even they I like, literally was seeing the police officer go like this to hear his radio and the radio was so loud. I I think I know what when you're talking about because they turned it up so freaking loud when they were packing up and yep. i was saying out the sptv number yeah it went so so loud i'm pretty sure probably like two or three blocks away her it yep. was so loud so loud i was just like where's the fairness i said all this to the the, the police officer standing there with his little ego slick hair gel uh i was just like Where's the fairness? Well, like they are really obviously doing something that is unacceptable and they, there's no reason for it. There's literally like, they don't need to like, it's not some, it's not like Metallica or AC or some great band playing. Like it's yeah. literally the flag <laughs> song again on repeat or the other, yeah. doo -doo -doo, like what it's just like that. That's just so insane. And so the fairness is obvious even in that it's like, Oh, you're mm -hmm. telling us to shut up or you're not telling them to shut up. Right. Just down. Like this is a little extreme. It was pretty crazy. And we're not exaggerating when we say they are blasting the music. It's like they have the speakers turned toward us blasting. And like literally blasting, literally blasting. Yeah. Oh my God. Heather in the library. Thank you for your sweet chat. Thank you. Hope to meet both of you. Lovely ladies. I will be there from oh. that's awesome. Wait, thir for Thursday and Thursday Friday. And Friday. Okay. Is Aren't, aren't those La Poubelle nights of protesting or? Wow. Why are we already like, hmm, what are the, what day will that be? That's so <laughs> like I'm always, cause La Poubelle cl is closed on Sunday or Monday, right? Yeah. Apparently. Yeah. 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 And Friday nights, Saturday nights, Thursday, those are their main little. Yeah. That's when they seem to be more um, packed or like reservations. Right. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, but yeah, that will be so nice to meet you, Heather. Thank you so much. Come say hi anytime. Uh, you, yes, thank you, thank you. Do you see anybody in the chat? Uh, how many questions? If you guys have questions, you know the drill, right? And comment for sure if you want. But I always, I hate missing anybody's things. So I'm like, and I always say if I miss a question or something, just repeat the question in the chat. I'll repeat the question. Ew, we mm -hmm. used to do that at the Sea Org. I'll repeat the question. Do birds fly? <laughs> and thank you all for being here and showing so much love. Yes. Hi, Tao. Tao. <laughs> I, I took that away too fast. <laughs> <laughs> in a flash. <laughs> Tao. Hey, Tao. <laughs> This is so funny. What is it? so funny? Scientology security runs to the cops like little girls. Hey, now girls are strong and tough. It's just that they run away like P wussies. But also, just like it's like, where's the strength? They literally don't have much else. They've already shown all their cards. You're supposed security. to be security, security, yeah. security. Okay. Oh, oh hi. Hi. kitty. Oh, you mean Baba girl? Hey, Baba girl. They yeah, my cat is really small. And yeah, that's what I was saying. I was like, Hi. she's three. She looks like a kitten. Hi, thanks. And Fox, every time I give Bubba loves, is like, up. Oh, I need some. <laughs> you need your love. You woke up from your nap just to get this loving. <laughs> <laughs> they love you so much. Uh, I love that. They're so cute. And they play with each other. They're so funny. Um, yeah. 
What was I saying before Bubs interrupted me? <laughs> I think. Oh, I'm yeah, like, the uniform. Oh. Yeah, we're going to end soon. Comment Streets mentioned one cop full uniform and not wearing his body cam, which is against policy. Yeah, there were so many weird things where it was like, how can you come at us with that authority and you're really not doing your own job correctly? Yeah. <laughs> like, and we can see it. So, And then he was lying to us about like the perimeters, the fire zone, uh, the hour when we were, you know, like it just, I was, it's just so, how does anybody respect an officer doing that? Not Anyways. me. I don't. Anyone going to be blue tonight? We don't know. We'll just find out. I'm going to, I think uh, I'm going to help Tori with some things. So maybe I'm going to jump on her thing with her there. But other than that, I don't know, guys. I don't know. We'll see. All We're right. All thank you. The what? Yeah, exactly. All We're all. So we don't know. I told Layla, call me if you need a ride. That's literally like, so it's, <laughs> it's her, it's her choice if she, wants to know where I am. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just text you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right, boo-boo butts. Thank you all for being here, you guys. I hope I didn't miss any uh, super chats or any questions. Mandy, thank you so much as usual. Make sure you like. <laughs> I don't know. Where is it at? <laughs> Where's the like button? Where did we show you for you guys? Make sure you like it and also make sure you check if you're subscribed. Sometimes it will unsubscribe or they're accidentally click it and you were subscribed mm -hmm. and then your thing resets and so then it makes you unsubscribe. So just check it and make sure you're subscribed. We love you. And also subscribe to Layla. I should have pulled up your thing already, but clearly I am getting my shit <laughs> still. Still, it, I have a shirt. I should have a shirt that says, I am getting my shit together. Dot, dot, dot. Still. Still. <laughs> I'd buy that. <laughs> All right, Angel Babes. I'm sending you out with learning and loving. Thank you guys again for being here. And we'll see you soon on the next live stream, wherever that may be. Bye. <laughs>